You talk about how the Fed wasn't ready to do anything because the economy didn't pick up enough. We're not going to get that escape velocity necessarily, right. not if you look at Japan as an example. What if that doesn't come? At what point does the Fed say enough QE is enough QE? We've not, now got to start tapering. Well, I think that's a great question, too, and everybody would love to know that answer is when's the Fed going to stop? Um, I don't know. I don't know that. Here's, here's an interesting fact. In 2010, 2011, and 2012, for the last three years, right, the Fed has ended up saying GDP growth was going to be somewhere between 3 to 4 percent. It hasn't happened. And each year it's been between 1.5 to 2 percent. So the Fed has been wrong, and yet that's why you've had sort of that QE3. I think if you ended up having that 2 or 3 percent, you'd find that stopping, but even the Fed's numbers have been off. Imagine if you and I were off 50 percent every time when we were trying to invest.